Have you ever heard of Internet of Things? Internet of Things, or IoT in short, is basically a global network of everything. And by everything, I mean literally anything you can think of, from your electric toothbrush over traffic lights in the city to sensors in industry. Now, why would we want to connect everything, you may wonder? Well, for example, an IoT application could reduce traffic jams in the city by making traffic lights smart, which would in turn reduce pollution. Or if we deploy IoT sensors in forests in Herzegovina that are prone to wildfires in summer, we could detect wildfires as soon as they occur and react in time. With IoT, we could live in a smart world. However, there is a catch. In fact, three. First, we cannot use existing internet technologies because they are designed for powerful devices. IoT devices have thousands of times less memory than an average smartphone, and this memory needs to store operating system, communication stack, and applications. Secondly, IoT devices need to use as little power as possible because their battery needs to live for months or years. We recharge our smartphones every day, but we don't want to go every day to the forest in Herzegovina to recharge hundreds of sensors. And finally, IoT networks need to be able to serve thousands of devices in a single network, whereas your home Wi-Fi only needs to serve a few. My PhD research is focused on tackling these challenges in a new Wi-Fi called Wi-Fi Halo that is specifically designed for IoT. Wi-Fi Halo introduced several new features in order to address the three challenges I mentioned, but it did not specify how to use them. Inadequate configuration of these features may result in degrading the network performance rather than improving it. To investigate which configurations improve the network performance, I needed to do experimental research, so I developed Wi-Fi Halo Simulator together with my two colleagues, because Wi-Fi Halo chips did not exist in the market until December last year. The simulator enabled me to explore how do these new features affect the network performance in terms of scalability of the network, energy efficiency of the devices, communication delays, and data throughput. Using this knowledge, I developed an adaptive scheduling algorithm that minimizes communication delays while at the same time maximizing scalability, energy efficiency, and data throughput. My research brings us one step closer to the global adoption of IoT so that we can traverse from the information era we live in to the smart world of tomorrow.